Welcome back, class. What we're going to do is, we're going to go number two. There sure is. It's about binomials. Change my handwriting? No, it's the same. Where'd your accent go this month? Do you want me to start it over? What's strange? Is that a glitch? Are you kidding me? Does not. It's all the same. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, like I said in the previous, the previous stuff, I'm going to show you the old school way, and I'm going to show you the, the way the book does it. All right. So here's the old school way, and I already, you guys already heard about this earlier this year when we were preparing for PSAT. Uh, foil. Okay. Uh, foil stands for Ola. Ola. Can you guys keep it together back there, please? F stands for first. O is outside. I is inside. And L is last. Okay. It's an acronym that tells us, it helps us remember not to miss one of the multiplications. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate FOIL on this problem. Um, and the table does the exact same thing, it's just a more visual representation. So let's look at uh, this problem. So when we're mul so by the way, I'm sorry, this is a binomial times a binomial. And Roland, the only time we use FOIL is when we're doing binomial times a binomial. Right. Only time. First, what are my first terms? X and X. Okay. So X times X is X squared. Okay, that's my first. Outside is X times two. Those are my outside terms. X times two is. 2x. Okay. I is inside. That's 3 times x, which is my inside terms, which gives me what? 3x. 3x. Now, I could write that here plus 3x, but instead I'm going to write it underneath the 2x because I'm going to combine them in a, in a little bit, right? So I'm going to put uh, 3x here. And then L is last. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. Just so you have this for your notes, this was outside. This was first. This was inside. This is last. All right, so. When you are multiplying a binomial times a binomial, the idea is we want to multiply the x times both terms and the 3 times both terms. And this acronym just helps us remember to get everything. All right. Now we just simplify. x squared plus 5x plus 6, which is our final answer. Yes? Yeah, so your final answer should be in standard form. Ola, this is the second time I'm saying your name on video. So I have evidence for your parents when I call them. Mm. All right. What do I do with my eraser? Okay, let's do one more. Um, yeah, one more. Yeah. Any questions about that? I'm, I think I got everybody, right? Um, yeah. Did, did that oh. answer your question? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Uh, negative 2x plus x squared times 4 uh, 4x plus 2y. 
Again, we have a binomial times a binomial, so the FOIL method applies. <clears throat> Let's start with our first terms. Eli, what do I get when I multiply negative 2x times 4x? Negative 8x squared. squared. Yes, all right. And uh, Mira, what do I get when I multiply negative 2x? times 2y. Okay, Jesse, help her out. Yes. Negative 4xy. Uh, Roland, what do I get when I do my inside? And Madeline, I know you're coming late to the game, but what do I get when I multiply my last terms? If you don't know, it's fine, Madeline. I know you're coming late to the game. Kara, do you got it? No? Uh, just the x squared. Just the x squared, not the y, but yeah. It's plus 2 x squared y. Yeah. All right, now, are any of these like terms? Yes. Oh, I, got, I got an x squared and an x squared, right? Can I add these? No. No, because of the y. What about x, y, and x squared y? Yes. No. No. They're not the same. They're not the same exponent, right? And x cubed, I don't have any x cubed. So, yeah. so we're good. We're done. No, they are the same in order. Ooh, standard form. All right. So which one has the highest degree? Four. 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 And then we have uh, three here too, right? Yeah. Two. So which one goes first? Any one. Either one. Either one. Okay. And then which one goes second? Um, Either one. No. Eight. 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 All right, so just to recap, uh, when we multiply a binomial times a binomial, oh, I'm sorry, you're right, what goes at the end? What did I miss? 8x squared, what is negative? Minus 8x squared? Yeah. Good catch, thank you. All right, just to recap, binomial times binomial got me a... Monomial. And in the previous example, binomial times binomial got me a trinomial. So does it always give you the same type of answer? No. no. Why did the previous one only give me three terms instead of four? Uh, there were like terms. The, the two middle terms combined to give me five x, right? Yeah. This one, none of them combined, so it's just what it is. Can you get five terms? No. No. Because there's only there's only four multiplications. Actually, you can get you can you can actually get two terms as well. Two terms is when the two middle terms cancel out. We'll go over that later. Anyways, uh, let's look at the new way the textbook shows you how to do this. I'm gonna use the exact same example. All right. You guys have this copy? Now, some of you are gonna prefer this table method to the FOIL method, and that's perfectly okay. Because how many of you are more visual? You like things to be more like visual. Yeah. And you'll probably like this way better than I'm about to show you. They're both the same though. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is draw a table. Do we have to write it in a row? Yes, please write it. Because you might see this in a, a, in a type of question you might have to answer. Okay, so on one side of your table is going to be the first binomial and the other side is going to be the second. It doesn't matter which one goes where. Okay. So I'm going to put uh, negative 2x and x squared up here, all right? I don't want the x squared to go over here. I want the same binomial to be on the same side, okay? So there's my first binomial. My second binomial is 4x and 2y. And that goes there. And then this is just like a four-way multiplication table. All right. What is 4x times negative 2x? Negative 2x. What is 
x squared times 4x. Four 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 and then what is 2y and negative 2x? Two negative 2y. Four Just xy. Oh, okay. oh, And then this one is 2x squared y. And then here are your four terms. Then you just write them in standard form. Oh wow! That's so easy. How many of you like? How many of you like seeing it better this way? Okay, perfect. You guys do it that way. How many of you like the foil method? Foil squad. Nope, you're in the foil squad. There's nothing you can do. You're in it. <laughs>